Good afternoon. I'm Ade from Ade to Remember. Yes, my question now is, uh, um, since this is going to be the first, what does Amplify um, can offer and uh, what can people expect from this art and music festival that is first for you to work with Ayala Museum? Uh, Mr. Jeff or anyone? Well, we're, we're very excited because it's a partnership, meaning uh, we're going to join together the strengths of both organizations. Uh, we are proud to, to be managing a lot of excellent musical artists, and these artists, we're so proud of them. They are world class, all of them. Um, and we're happy that they're going to perform here at this very historical venue, side by side with all that everything that the Yala Museum has to offer. So that it's, it's, it's really going to be like an arts and music festival, a really good combination. So that's something to look forward to because it's going to be a, a definitely a, a different kind of experience. You have music, you have art, you have visual arts, and everything uh, will be all in just one, one day. You can experience everything in one day. I, I'd just like to add, I think the reason why something like this is considered and, and pushed because you know art and culture and our history is very important but we have to talk to a very highly stimulated audience yes. so we really need to do our best uh, to be in the forefront to get their attention to be able to push our advocacy of, of looking at art and history and our culture with new eyes so when you combine these things Chances are something new will be brought to fore so that people, as, as Jeffrey was saying, can look back, see our history again with fresh eyes, and you'd be surprised what you will learn. So even as a museum, we are always challenged to strategize so that we're not, you know, before they used to think it's a place where old things are kept. Yes. It's not. The old things tell you something about us. So it's our job to try and always make it relevant. So these kinds of exercises, I think, are very exciting because we hope that it will bring in a new generation. You know, there are people who, are, who have been following us for years and, and we love them, but we need to keep on getting new people in. So this combination, I think, is, is going to be a powerhouse combination. So we're very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much and congratulations in advance. In advance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for that question. Um, th would anyone else like to ask? Uh, or are they interested in learning more about the partnership? Oh, yes. Hello, po. my name is Ken from Kapamilya Kingdom, Circle of Stars. Congratulations for the partnership. Uh, my first question po is for Cornerstone. Why is the Ayala Museum po yung napili yung partner? Um. Huh? <laughs> 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 iba, sabi ni Paul. Ako naniniwala kasi ako sa, sa pagkakataon. Naniniwala ako sa destiny. Naniniwala ako na lahat ng bagay ay nagtutukma sa tamang panahon. At ito ay isang example na kung saan nagtugma lahat. Nagtugma yung panahon, nagtugma yung pangangailangan, nagtugma yung resources. Uh, celebrate sila ng 50th year anniversary at nandito naman kami we are always supporting foundations that we believe in and we just you know it was destiny uh, we met at the right place at the right time for this particular occasion that's why we're all the more excited you know it doesn't it's it's not about the question of bakit Ayala Museum or bakit Cornerstone actually to be honest we're all secondary players in this event the primary reason why we're all here is really to promote history and culture. That is what's important, and to promote it to the next generation. Just like what mom said, it's very important that we promote it to the next generation because history is not just for the intellectuals or to a particular demographic. History is for everyone. That's why we need to use mainstream artists to promote history because history is for everyone. And that is our message. That's why it's Amplify, right? We have 
the resources of the Ayala Museum. We have mainstream artists from Cornerstone appearing on television and social media, and we aim to amplify Philippine history and Philippine culture. That's the goal. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much for that question. Would anyone else like to ask something from the signatory? Yes, ma'am. Uh, hello, I'm Teresa from Manila Society. Uh, with the I mean, ang ganda kasi na magiging uh, positive impact. But just in case, uh, what's the biggest hindrance or magiging problema with this? Kasi di ba sabi nyo nga, uh, we're trying to promote history. But with the generation that we have, so how can we encourage them to, you know, participate and parang i-ano natin mabuti? And yeah, if ever there's going to be a problem or hindrance, with regards to this uh, campaign or uh, what would it be? I think I think the idea really, to me the word is fascination. Mm -hmm. so you have to, you have to instill fascination. And this combination of popular entertainment with history and culture, I think is a step in the right direction. How can they not like music? First of all, we're yes. Filipino. It's a low-hanging fruit, yeah. it, 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 that, that they will come. If not for the art and history, maybe for the music. The, 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 the challenge for us is there are many ways into um, transforming your, your feelings for art and culture. Music is one of them. And it's nice because it, it's also an artistic format, but it's popular. So you know, a lot of this we need to um, experiment. But uh, feeling ko hindi naman, hindi naman magiging problema. Because music is so widespread. It's such a low-hanging fruit, for us especially. Because we love to sing, we love to hum. I mean, so that's why I think, if at the very least, if people leave happy because there's music in the air, then we've done something good. Thank you. If I may add, if I, may add I think it's not a problem, it's more of an opportunity. Okay, number one is, the museum can only accommodate so much. So I think it's very important to note that the tickets will be not, yeah, it, it, it's, it's an unlimited number. Like 3,500, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. About 3,000 plus uh, tickets will only be available to the market. Because uh, we have to emphasize this. The museum is not doing this uh, for anything. It's, it's, not, it's, it's a not-for-profit event. It's a non-profit because you have to understand that the museum operates under the auspices of Ayala Foundation. And we are a non-profit organization. The reason why we're doing this is because we want to continue the different initiatives uh, created for the audience. So the opportunity there is the problem maybe because maguunahan, but the opportunity there, but we're, we're looking forward to the opportunity na people will be more interested because they saw it. I mean, you have mainstream media, but the digital space is what we're banking on. And Cornerstone, I mean, the artists that will be joining us, massive a digital presence. That alone will provide the opportunity for the not, I mean, the people who doesn't even know that Ayala Museum is doing this. It's because of this event, Nakita nila sa Facebook, YouTube, IG, IG Reels. Reels, TikTok, X. X. <laughs> Lahat na sabihin nyo na nandun na. So sabi, parang it provides nga sa, yun ang maganda eh. It's because of them, we can talk now to the audience, to a wider audience. And it's the start. So yes, it can be seen as a problem for now, but look at what it will give us. It's a good problem, so it's it's more of an opportunity because at at a, at the daily rate we're averaging a thousand five hundred uh, walk-ins. Who knows? Because of what we're doing with Cornerstone, we can even hit our max of three thousand five hundred daily, and that will allow us to create more events like this, so that people will be more interested not just to support Ayala Museum, but arts and culture in general. Uh, this is just coming from a case study. I mean, I, I'm a theater performer, and I've been performing in 
multiple Ayala venues, including the Maybank Performing Arts Theater and the Samsung Performing Arts Theater, uh, to name a few. And since the pandemic, there has been an influx of individuals who want to watch like plays and not not on TV or in movies, but see live performances, and in this case, see art live. Uh, and what's great about this is the joining of forces, because the thing about anything live is there's no AI. You can't hide behind anything. It's one take, and it's live. So um, Gen Z, the Gen Zs especially. Um, can see when people are messing with them, especially <laughs> online. You can't mess with the art that they have here. You can't mess with the performances that will be live and in front of each and every single one of their, uh, for them to enjoy the entertainment that is what we are good at in the Philippines, music and art. Thank you so much for that question. I think it touched on something that everyone feels very strongly about. So thank you for asking it. We have time for one last question before we wrap up this event. If anyone would like to ask. Uh, yes, Paul. Good afternoon, Paul. I'm Jeff from Kapamili Online. Uh, for Ayala Foundation, po. it was mentioned that Amplify is part of the museum's 50th anniversary celebration. Will there be follow-up events to further celebrate this milestone? Actually, this is already towards the highlight, no? Because we started early this year, um, and we really did a full year plan. It's a combination of exhibitions, you know. We 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 have a gold collection upstairs, and and we have re enhanced it with a new exhibition that now includes. The collection of the Banco Central of Filipinas, so now people can come and see. And then, just a few weeks ago, last week, we uh, launched the Sobel exhibition, which is a, an it's an Asian premiere of an exhibition on Fernando Sobel from the Museo Prado in Spain. So that's very major because that also speaks of the quality of Filipino talent that they're celebrated abroad, as in the case of Mr. Sobel. And then we have musical programs like this. So it's unti unti yana, but but uh, gets more and more and more. And as we hit Christmas, then it'll become even more festive. Um, you know, 50 years is a major achievement for an institution uh, to to have been have, have been this sustained over a period of time. Uh, running a museum is not for the weak-hearted. <laughs> so you need commitment both on the part of the people who work in it and the people who are backing it up. So it's a major celebration for us. And, and we're getting full support from our mother, our mother company to celebrate. And what's nicer even is many people who come to visit us this year, whether through our performances, our concerts, our, our workshops. So many of them are third generation already, which is nice because then you have a cohort of people who are connected to this museum. There's a girl, she started her art classes here at seven, at seven years old. Then she had an exhibition here, and she's now 22, and she's finishing her master's in, in UP. So again, you're part of their life. So I think that's what people have to understand. The centers of culture and art and history, our job is to be a part of the lives of the community we serve. So these exercises that we have, like Paul was saying, it's nonprofit, it's funneled back, so that the, the institution remains vibrant. Uh, and we cannot do that without partners like Cornerstone. We cannot do it alone, actually. Thank you. Thank you for all those amazing questions. Now, before we wrap up this event, we have one more treat for everyone here this afternoon. Cornerstone artist and one of our Amplify performers, Marky Strong, has graciously agreed to give us a sample of his